honor and praise. We lift you up and we magnify your holy name. Lord, we just want to thank you for everything that you have done and everything that you will do. Lord, I ask that you be with Kenneth right now. Cover him with your precious blood and let the words that he speak be your words and not his words. Let the ears hear what the word has to say. In Jesus' name, I pray.
So, I, the Lord, searched the heart and examined the mind to reward a man according to his deeds, according to his conduct. Or did I switch it around? Right. Oh, yeah. got it right. I got it right. Okay? Yeah. But he says, I, the Lord, before your heart is deceitful, though, how can you receive the Lord? Can, can I come, come and tell you how to receive the Lord? So, can we all turn to Romans 10.9? Yeah. Romans 10.9, this is very important. This is something that we have all, well, not all of us, because some of us, you know, we still don't know or we still don't truly believe in who God is, who Jesus said, who he was. Romans 10 and 9. It says that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I need you guys to open up your hearts today. I need you guys to open up your hearts today because this is very important. This is this is your salvation. I, I didn't I didn't understand I didn't understand that we us we were the keepers of our own heart. Let me explain this. We have a choice to say yes or no to a message. This message here is something that you need to say yes to. Because if you don't say yes to this message, you will go to hell. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry. But this is what the Word says. Jesus Christ said it Himself. If you believe in your heart, you have to believe in the message of Jesus Christ. You also to confess with your mouth. That's oh, right. Yeah. Go ahead, Kenneth. The resurrection. The resurrection of Jesus Christ. Not the, the, the whole thing. People think that Christ being crucified was a was a sad was a sad moment or a sad time in his life. But if you read before all of that, he said, Let the Son of Man be glorified so that my Father will be glorified also. So that I will glorify the Father also. So the, 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 the death of Jesus Christ is strength to all of us. Because we have to believe in that message. Sometimes we think that we have to... We have to um, we have to break down the whole word of God to, to go and um, witness to people. But Jesus Christ said, all you have to do is just give your testimony about my life. If they don't believe in my life, then they won't believe at all. This is the testimony that we should be giving to people. Let me find the scriptures. I think Jesus, no, I know he leaves. Guiding me. Yeah. All right. Give me a few seconds. Okay. Okay. Let me talk about the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was God. He said, if you don't believe who I am, who I say I am, you will perish. John 14, 6. Let's go there. John 14, 6. You guys are there? 
Alright. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Good. 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 Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus Christ, the message, the word that we all have been given, which was the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, is something that we need to give to everyone. Hallelujah. We need to preach that word to everyone. This is the seed that we believe in. And then you can say, now is the time for your confession. When they when they say, or no, when you say, do you want to confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Do you believe in the message that I or the Father has given me to give to you? Hallelujah. And if they say yes or no to the gospel, I, hopefully they say yes. I want them to say yes. I want them to say yes. But sometimes it's hard. Man. Not sometimes, but the heart is deceitful, remember? Yeah. yeah. If you really knew me, you would know my father as well. Yes. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Yes. This is a trick. I read this, and this was a trick. <laughs> Jesus, he he discipled his disciples for about three years, right? And all this time, let, let's just listen to it. Yes. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. So Jesus is going around in the world preaching, I am the Father. I am the Son of Man. I am the one they have preached about in the Old Testament. And his disciples, Philip, asked, show us the Father. So he himself did not believe that Jesus Christ was God. This is what I'm reading. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you such a long time? So Jesus is like, I've been talking to you this whole time and you still don't know me? You know, but anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. 